Past the Muntjac enclosure near the colorful peacock and next to the goats, you'll hear visitors excited over the newest member of the Gladys Porter Zoo family, the Bengal tiger cub. This playful and seemingly friendly cat is nothing but pure muscle with underdeveloped predatorial instinct. But it's what's displayed next to this still unnamed feline that caught Cesar Mejia's attention. I think it's horrible that, that, that somebody would have, first of all, wanted a baby tiger, right? Uh, and then secondly, to, to just abandon it like they did. An exhibit displaying a variety of products, from furs to shoes, bags, and well, pieces of decoration, these items are made from animals that are illegal to either own or purchase, or in the case of this tiger, traffic or smuggle. Two weeks ago, Border Patrol agents found a black duffel bag that was abandoned by three people after they were spotted trying to cross into the country illegally. Inside the bag, a three-month-old cub, which was sedated and beginning to hyperventilate. 30 more minutes before the Border Patrol found the animal, this animal would be dead. Dr. DeMar says it's the first time he's heard of a tiger being smuggled north into the U.S. and the 12th tiger brought to the zoo in the last 10 years in these bizarre circumstances. One of them was for sale, illegally for sale. Somebody tried to sell it on Facebook. The way these animals are handled, Dr. DeMar says, they could pose a danger to the public. It, it is not illegal in the state of Texas to own a tiger, providing you fulfill certain requirements. Bottom line is, it does not make a good pet. Although it's not certain how many tigers exist in Texas, Dr. DeMar and others estimate the population to be second only to India. I hope that, uh, you know, the foot traffic that walks through here, that they actually take some time to read. Zookeepers want visitors like Mejia to take this opportunity to learn about how this cub ended up in their care. In Brownsville, on the Texas-Mexico border, I'm Oscar Margain reporting.